According to attorneys representing the band All Time Low, they say that a multi-year investigation has found that allegations posted anonymously against the band online have been found to be part of a coordinated smear campaign and the claims made against them were entirely false. Back in 2021, allegations against members of All Time Low surfaced on TikTok. The band strongly condemned the claims that they had engaged in sexual misconduct. They wrote, the allegations being brought against us are absolutely and unequivocally false. When a TikTok video gained traction a few weeks ago, alluding to inappropriate behavior within our camp, we chose not to respond because of the glaring inconsistencies in the story and the apparent reluctance to mention us by name. We felt that a response would have elevated and escalated an outright lie, and in doing so, robbed actual victims of abuse of their very real and very important collective voice. We believe victims, we stand with victims. We have only ever wanted to cultivate and nurture a culture around our show and band that is welcoming, healthy, and safe. The band would later retain legal counsel to attempt to identify the anonymous users behind the social media accounts. They said they wanted to identify the culprits and prove that the defamatory statements are false and seek justice. Now, the band has always maintained that the allegations against them were entirely made up and there were no truth to them, but the lawsuit was a very technical case because they had to get internet service providers to reveal who were behind the accounts that were posting the allegations against them. One of the accusers claimed the band's guitarist began abusing her back in 2011 as she was underage. In their lawsuit, the band says the claim was made maliciously and it was an elaborate and completely fabricated story. The suit continued, All Time Low has worked hard for two decades to earn its large fan base and would prefer to continue to focus on its music rather than litigate. However, these false and salacious accusations have harmed the band, its members, and their families in the business of All Time Low. And now, attorneys representing All Time Low have released a statement to Rolling Stone describing their methodology for their investigation and how they were able to identify the users behind that account. They say they're going to be dismissing the suit, though it can be brought back later, and handling the matter privately. Here's what they had to say. Documents obtained by Rolling Stone show the band's lawyer asking the court to drop the case without prejudice, which means it could be brought back in the future. The complaint being filed in 2022 features three anonymous users who made allegations against the band on social media. Now, the central allegations against All Time Low came from an account called ATL Statement. And through an extensive investigation, the attorneys claim they found that there were multiple people behind that account posting the false allegations. They claim their investigation found that multiple people were behind that account who, quote, spun an elaborate, fabricated story posing as a fan who incredibly and falsely claimed to have traveled with the band for more than 10 years. There is no such person and no such incidents occurred. Rather, an investigation revealed that Dotu was an orchestrated smear campaign by multiple individuals posing as a fake fan. The investigations identified individuals behind the anonymous post who went to great lengths to hide their identities. Attorney Michael B. Garfinkel told Rolling Stone that All Time Low has chosen to handle the matter privately and protect the identities of those behind Doe 2 instead of pursuing further litigation at this time. And they really went to great lengths in this investigation. At a hearing in June, the band's attorney said he was working with the State Department to get Panama to help them trace who the users were behind that anonymous allegation shared online. The attorney said, the investigation proved what All Time Low knew all along. The allegations in the posts are completely and utterly false. Nonetheless, considerable time and legal resources were required to fully reassure All Time Low's business and creative partners who put their trust in the band that the debunked claims were irresponsible and without merit. Now, of course, we've seen allegations against various musicians where the allegations are true and We've also seen situations like this where they conduct an investigation and they're able to explain in great detail how they identified individuals and determined that they were fake. And, you know, the band, it sounds like it was really, really important to them to fight for this to be proven to be false. And they reacted to the news in a statement. Here's what they had to say. All Time Low said, this has been a challenging time for our band as we fought to clear and debunk these false and damaging online rumors. We remain deeply grateful for those who have supported us throughout this legal process, including our fans, our peers, and collaborators. With this case dismissed, we remain committed to continuing to foster a healthy, safe environment 
both at our concerts and within our fan community. And we look forward to the next chapter of All Time Low. Let me know what you think down in the comments. That's your latest update here from Rockfeed. Be sure to subscribe with notifications on for the latest news and updates.